or not good luck, I'm sorry. Good job, guys. You managed to succeed and survive your your first criminal escapade. Um, you will now have the opportunity to go through and buy all of that stuff and do all those other crazy downtime things you were doing to bring your uh, your characters up to up to date with what you worked on in the in the downtime week. Sweet. So I upgrade my brain. Yeah, better brain. Did you get skin link or did you get something else? I got skin link because that sounds wicked useful. Yeah, no, it's it's really useful, especially when you have a tall person that can physically boost you to touch cameras. Really? We totally have a tall person that can physically boost me to reach cameras, don't we? Yep. It's about that. <laughs> I'm just using you for your body. I can do that. That's fine. So I am uh, totally okay with that. Uh, so about a week or two is going to go by before Hex, you get a call. Um, it's from Larry. Awesome. I hear your, your disdain in your voice. Yeah, I'm like, what's going on, Larry? So in Japanese, he's going to give you the, oh, hey, you know, I just wanted to, to check up, see how things are going, you know, maybe catch a coffee sometime. <laughs> um, sure, I guess it's business related. Oh, it doesn't always have to be business. I do have some business, but, you know, I was thinking more for pleasure. Okay, so on Larry's dime, Hex is going to see if she can convince him to pay for a meal at this overly priced, like, Hawaii-themed, like, coffee shop. Sure. <laughs> you name the uh, the time and the place, and he will say that it is a date. Oh, I but, guess her better judgment, Hex, will go, and she's going to invite Dante. I'm going to, uh, Jed is going to text her, you've got pepper spray on you, right? I got my taser. Had a girl. Uh, are you just sticking with the two of you for now, or are you going to bring everybody else into this? Why do I want to go? <laughs> I don't know why um, does Dante want to go. Potential business? Like, I don't tell him it's a date. I tell him, hey, he said he might have some business for us. Because <laughs> he, he did, did say, say he might have some business. business. He has broke up there a lot. Can I judge intentions that? He's got to be lying. I mean, you could try, but as this is over, like a, I'm gonna assume. I'll assume a text. text. I'll go. You know, is it? Are you dragging everybody, or are you just dragging Dante? Because he was the only person I heard you name. Um, I don't see a reason to not bring everyone. Sure. So, regale me with a story of what this Hawaiian coffee shop looks like okay so like when you first come up there there's all these like bright rainbows little smiley cute little cloud faces and stuff that these rainbows are coming out of and can somebody help me come up with like a cute little kawaii theme type name because everybody knows what kawaii is right oh kawaii okay kawaii. i was he hearing hawaii kawaii k-a-w-a-i-i no, yeah, I got I, but I was hearing the the uh, the state. <laughs> yeah, Kawhi Hawaii. Why yeah. not just Kona Kauai? Anyway, <laughs> so you see that, and you can see like cute little like, you know, I guess something similar to Pokemon, but not quite because copyright infringing, like you know, figurines and stuff. Pokemon. So, and Lots not quite of, uh, close. And of course, anthropomorphic Hello food. Anthropomorphic food, like little sushi rolls and stuff. And like Hello Kitty stuff, as far as the eye can see when you come in. Like the floor is some bright, like light blue color. And like the walls are some sort of pink. This, this place makes me want to vomit. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Why do you think she invited Larry there? She's all into this super. Kawaii, happy, over the top, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And she invited Larry. 
Okay, so a Japanese woman, a giant, an orc, and a uh... <laughs> what was the other one? Is the other one a human? Very, very unamused human. You're you're really quiet, don't they? Um, yeah. So you guys are sitting in this this coffee shop, and Larry is going to come in in an out of date suit, and he's going to have like three flowers in a little like little bouquet, and he's gonna see you guys sitting there. He's like, ah. and he'll come over and he'll make an overly dramatic presentation of the flowers to Hex and say something in Japanese. Uh, which Hex understands is like I thought this was just a date Bye. now Larry I really hope that you brought enough for the whole class <laughs> He's uh, he'll turn to you and go only for the most beautiful of course I thought he was going to speak up oh thank you and reach for the flowers <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what race is Dante is he human okay he may have to compete with Hex on that one <laughs> what are you saying? Tuskers are ugly? Yes. I mean, no, no, I'd never say that. I I'm definitely definitely not on sexy. Man, one of you guys has got to get off, like, the, the open mic thing. It's just been a couple of times tonight where I've heard, like, myself come through somebody else's end. It's just like, oh, God, you guys killing me. Yeah. Um, it's all right. So he's going to sit down and pull his chair closer to Hex because, you know, you're about to talk about, like, potentially illegal stuff and totally not for any other reasons. <laughs> okay. As long as it's illegal, Hex is going to roll a palming roll to discreetly grab her taser. Sure. Go ahead and roll it. Oh, please do not screw me, dice. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Alright, so he's obviously going to see you. You got one hit. And he's, a, he's used <laughs> to being tased. And he'll he'll put his hand on it. It's like, no, no, no. We won't need that yet. This is what <laughs> Just I'm not ready yet? Well, you never can tell when somebody's out to get you. And he looks around very, like, you know the kind of guy that has had people kick in doors and, and yell his name and then chase him through an alleyway. Well, we are in hell, so I wouldn't be surprised. Right. <laughs> so, I have a... Alright. There's somebody who's looking to get something done. But they're kind of scary. Okay, can you elaborate? She is a horrible witch. How long did you two date? <laughs> he he recoils in shock and horror, just like huh? I didn't. Okay. Hex is gonna remind him, remember, you shouldn't mess with married women, that's probably why you got in this trouble to begin with. But she does so in Japanese to be somewhat polite and exclude the others, not to shame Larry too much. <laughs> He'll respond in Japanese with a she could never be married. And like, gets a little uh, throbbing tension like in his, his forehead and like one of those veins, just like, oh god. Oh, okay, okay. Look, you had me worried for a second. I don't know why he, he says to you in Japanese, I don't know why she came to me, but she... She needs something done. She needs somebody. I'll, I'll shoot back knees real quick. Desperation. Uh, you would do like a judge intentions or a uh, or an etiquette or something that to pick up something more the more official than desperation. Um, I can try judge intentions. I'm not good at it. I don't think. No, actually, I'm not bad at that one. Yeah, judge intentions is just. Uh, I can't roll anything, but I'm not bad at it. That's composure, is not it... judge intentions. Oh, it is composure, isn't it? I rolled the wrong thing. I mean, it doesn't matter. I think it's the same dice pool for the other one, too. No? Yeah, no, I do. 
Can the rest of us roll something, or will we continue yeah, no, you to can, move? You can roll. All right. What is, Judge? Charisma Intuition. Yep, Charisma Intuition. Oh, do I have my uh, my spell all together now? Yeah, you have your spell and your, your sustaining foot guy and stuff. If you want to cast it, you can go ahead okay. and cast it. What's that? If you want to cast it, you can go ahead and cast it. And we'll see how, uh, see how uh -huh. it works out for you. I've got a... There's some rolls up there. Do you want me to redo it? I can scroll. Okay. I see it. Yeah. Since it's the same number of dice, I think we should keep the first one. For sure. Because no, um, I feel like that's kind of cheating. So you see, it's uh, less of a desperation thing that you guys see. Like, <laughs> Hexel kind of texts over to you guys. Uh, it's, you know, desperation. Um, Jet and Dante, you, you, it's it's less desperation, more like... He's more than a little afraid of this person. I'm going to exchange a significant look with Dante. I think Dante's just going to lean back in his chair, smile, and cross his arms. Just enjoy it a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sue gets that, too. So, uh, Larry, you're going to have to give us some more details, because... It sounds like you're describing a literal dragon. <laughs> it's like no, no, no. I will... No, no, definitely not a, definitely not a dragon. But if you guys are in for it, I can let her know and uh, give you the location that she wants to meet you guys at. I can find another team if you guys want to back out. I understand. Scary person. I'm willing to hear her out. What about you guys? Is the pay good? Uh, yes. The the pay is... She said it was an easy job, and but it's a little time sensitive. And, Shit. You know. Crap. <laughs> easy job. I guess more appropriately, is she good for the money? I, uh... Never heard of anybody saying that she didn't pay them in surviving. So, so, there's that. There's that. All right, well, I'll at least hear her out. Yeah. Wait a second. Can we review the order of those terms you just used? <laughs> I don't recall anybody ever saying that she never paid them and then surviving. Well, no, I'm making the wrong. Oh, shit, I forgot my voice. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> So assuming that you guys are in, as you all seem to be, he'll give it another like one of those big eyes, like, are you sure? When nobody says otherwise, he'll put a chip on the table. Um kinda like directly in front of Hex, because that's where he happens to be sitting. Mm. Like poker or potato? Like a, a data chip. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> this is our decker. Okay. <laughs> no, no, that's that's Hex. I'm I the like muscle. To, I like to feel like Hex knows where this is going because he put it in front of her, and I'm just baiting her to go and reach for it and him to grab her hand. <laughs> and then, like, which if you just let it sit there, he'll let it hang. But he's totally looking to 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 get your hand to give you a like a. It'll be okay. Hex is going to actually just quickly swipe it over to, you know, to the next person sitting next to him. Just kind of like a quick brush it over and pull hand back. Sure. Um, he should have kept it in his palm. I'm sorry? He should have kept it in his palm if he wanted that, so he should have to take it. Yeah. <laughs> um. <so he's> <laughs> Man, that's terrible, Dante. Dante. <laughs> The job is just a colossal archive of dick pics. The job is all verbal. <laughs> um, so it'll have a, a location and stuff on the, the chip, and uh, he will he will pay for Hex's coffee, 
but he won't pay for anybody else's. And then he'll he'll make a mention that you know in Japanese that you know next time he'll he'll meet up with her. <laughs> X is going to politely thank him for the coffee, and then in polite Japanese tradition, you know, thank him for his you know for for I guess you know meeting her here. And agree that next time, you know, they'll be secretly knowing that this is all the, the traditional Japanese polite front. <laughs> so the uh, the chip has a um, an address in well, the Barons slash most not mostly is in Touristville, but that's you know a kind of um, shitty place in Seattle. So you guys can roll kind of as uh, as heavy as you want without, like, super obvious stuff. It is for a place that is called Spells Are Us. Hmm. Have I heard of this? You want to roll some dice? Uh, I've got one point in Magical Community. Yeah, you want to roll some dice? How how many of those should I roll? Uh, whatever your knowledge skill plus your uh, your mental stat that is attributed with it is. Would you roll a d1 for Dante? He just said roll a couple dice. I was bored. I figured I would. That is only a singular dice. It is not a couple. I was going to roll them uh, all separately. I'm guessing I can't really get away with the knowledge skill being based on willpower or charisma. Intuition or logic. Matrix Games doesn't turn up anything about a uh, a witch in a magical shop. Yeah, not only is it just a uh, Matrix game, but it also has a specialization. Uh, Astral Dreams, The Legend of Tenku. Uh, so with it's like an email. Uh, with one hit on your magical community, you have kind of heard of this place. It's a um, let's let's call it a more low rent kind of place. Um, one person, I would I would call it mom and pop, but it's more of a uh, like a creepy Spencer's kind of place. More mom and pop what? Sorry, you were breaking up for me there. Um, it's kind of like a... It is a little shop, like very local, like mom and poppy kind of thing, but it's not like a... Uh, a really recognized kind of place. It's new-ish. But it's not a chain, it's a... Yeah, it's like a singular person thing. Like, is okay. it targeted towards mundanes? Uh, not with one hit. You don't really know. Okay. But the uh, the chip is like you know come in any time that the the store is open and it's like a you know eight to ten kind of thing. Okay. Jet would like to order a boba tea to go. Sure. Some little sailor fuku uh, Japanese girl brings it over to you in a to-go cup. Thank you. <clears throat> um, this and this is where the meat is. Yep, that is where Larry said to meet the Johnson up. Huh. What should we wear? It is in Touristville, so yeah, you can wear. I'm thinking shit. street. I don't want us to all get, like, ganked for nice suits or whatever. I mean, I would wear something that's bullet-resistant. Duh. Everything I own is bullet-resistant. There you go. You only I'm, own I'm, one I'm thing. When I'm naked. So you might want to dress down for this. This isn't exactly a black tie event. 
All right, sounds good. What time would you guys like to go over there? Uh, what do you think about 30 before the scope plays out? Uh, it's probably like brunch-ish time right now, because that's when you go out for coffee. Uh, yeah, what what day of the week is it? Um, let's say that it is a Friday. No, let's say it's a Thursday. Okay. Um, do we want to get lost in the crowd, or do we want less crowd? He asked the group. It doesn't really matter to me either way. Well, aren't we supposed to be meeting the Johnson somewhere? Yeah, but if it's in, in Touristsville, then it'll definitely... Uh, it, what time we go determines how crazy the crowds outside are. Um, is the implication that, that the Johnson is the owner of the shop, like, type of thing? That's that's a fairly easy uh, leap of logic, if it's just like, meet me at my shop, and he and, and Larry inferred that the Johnson was a scary person. And a witch. Well, it, w it would be polite to show up near closing time, right? So that she could close the shop? Sure. All right, we'll go, you know, closer to 10. Okay. So, like, 9.30, 9.45-ish. Yeah. Do you guys want me to go in, like, alone ahead of time? Um, maybe see, uh, I don't know, if I can figure out what this person's deal is, what their tradition is or something before the group rolls up on them? We'll just go, you know... As as a group, I don't really think that we need to case the joint first. Okay. okay. So everybody's rolling up. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's a little like. Uh, <clears throat> give me just quick perception checks. I'll do a quick description. You're gonna come through sure. Touristville. It's the kind of place where uh, rich corp kids. I, I use rich loosely here, but like, you know, middle lifestyle, upper middle lifestyle corp kids come through and they uh, they get mugged so that they can post it on their me feeds like, haha, look how hardcore I am, I got mugged and they come down here to, to get a taste of the, the garbage life. Um, this particular area seems to be under the control of the Halloweeners. Uh, crazy thrill gang that are not known for their mental stability. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, they all kind of dress like clowns. Uh, you will pretty easily notice that outside of this... Uh... Damn! I like seeing things. Seeing things is pretty good, right? Um, Conte likes to watch. So the, the storefront itself doesn't have any AR kind of going on. It has a uh, like a piece of wood that is carved out. You know, it says it says spells. There was then an R that was next to it that has since come loose and flopped and is kind of like hanging upside down, sort of backwards as as an R, and then a a US for an US through the glass. It's all kind of like. Um, you know, like when you see glass at a smoker's house and it gets just that kind of grimy feeling on, feeling on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> it's got that going on. You can see there's a couple of, like, bird cages through the window and just all kinds of, like, there's a skull in the window and some other, uh, you know, like a pipe, a creepy Halloween-y garbage all throughout the, the front display. Standing outside is, you'll notice that there is a singular Halloweener there, but 
Dante can look at this guy and is like, the lights are on, but there is nobody home. And looking around, you will notice there are several other... Um, it is a distance between any other Halloweeners and this guy. Uh, and he is not doing the, like, this is my turf, I'm watching my turf kind of deal. He's just standing there, unnaturally straight, nobody's home. And then you can ask some questions if you like. You did say there were rich kids looking to get mugged, right? I'm also interested in rich kids looking to get mugged. Um, sort of. Like, that's the general feel of the area. If you want to go mug somebody, you can totally go mug somebody. You got plenty of hits for that guy to exist. I'm just looking for anyone that'd be easy to pickpocket. I'm not going out of my way for anything special. Yeah. There's a uh, kind of like an absence of people in the immediate area of the shop, although a light is still on. Um, you go to ascend him. He is... Well, there's a second aura hanging on him that you don't recognize. Uh, he has... Sorry, what? A there's... second aura? Uh-huh. There's a second aura on him. He Do has... I know what that means? Uh, you could have sensed that aura individually to find out what that is. It's kind of like you could see a, a spell hanging on somebody, but you don't know that it's a spell until you look at it. Um, he's got mostly full essence. He has seeming like some some kind of drug addiction or something going on with him, but he's not in a uh, not in a super great mood. Hmm. Well. And you have no idea what that. You have no idea what that R that's hanging on him is. Is there uh, anything else interesting or of note in the area? Not really. Have I ever seen anyone uh, being possessed or channeling? No, have you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really hang out with people that have that kind of tradition, I guess. Probably not, then. Hey, uh, so uh, is there... Am I right in thinking that something's kind of weird around here? Yeah, that would be my conclusion as well. It seems to be <clears throat> centered on the gentleman in front of the store. There's, like, nobody here. Well... He appears to have some friends, keeping quite the distance. Dante's just going to walk in the front door. Yeah. Dante, how familiar are you with, um, just nor- <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Stupid headset. Uh, how familiar is Dante with just, like, normal gang stuff? Uh, so I heard how familiar am I with stuff, and you might need to be a little bit more specific. Uh, normal gang stuff. Like, I see you got a Vori knowledge on here. Yeah, um, I would say general. Yes. Um, I mean, he <clears throat> did work for the Vori for a little bit, okay. so, yeah, so maybe low-level gangs he might not have much on, but he would know generally how they function. The, uh, the other gang, like, little groups of gangs, gangers that you have seen in the area are doing very much the, like, this is our turf, kind of, like, hanging out on stoops kind of thing. Like, just normal gang stuff. This circle of, of no activity is is definitely an oddity. Because my cat freaks out. But yeah, you can just kind of Walk in. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, which yeah. side of the door is this guy on? The right. He's on the side that opens. I. Thanks. Well, like the one side opens, and the other side is the part that has the, uh, the hinges and stuff on. Oh, okay. Um, basically, Dante said he was going to go in. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I wanted to trail him a little bit off to the side in case this guy, like, makes a move or something and I need to shoulder check him into the wall. 
Sure. I'm right behind Dante. The shot is. Absolutely. Um, Keeping my wits about me. Let me just do a quick, quick math thing. <clears throat> Uh, Sue, can you roll me 14 dice, sir? Yes. Three. So, Dante, upon coming inside, you're going to see that the the state of the windows is very much the state of the rest of the place. There are... There are... There cutting are out a lot. Let me try plugging in and see if that makes it any better. Hopefully it did. Um, the state of the windows is kind of the state of the rest of the place. There are shelves and stuff that have all kinds of junk on them. You can hear hear a, uh, a little bit of rustling coming from the actual bird cages that have like cloths thrown over them are you familiar with any kind of like incense stuff no okay there's some kind of thick fog smell kind of going on um, and as you take a couple of steps in you hear a it sounds like when somebody slams a door in a uh, in a house some of the stuff on the uh, the shelves and stuff uh, vibrate and rock back and forth um, the birds start cawing a bit uh, so your either your sustaining foci or your sustained spell just got knocked off oh Yes, as you cross the magical lodge, which is a a ward on the astral. Hmm. And that's and... audible even to me with absolutely no magical inclination. Uh, yeah, I guess because there's like a there's like an actual perceiving magic role, um, and it makes for a wonderful like scene, you know. Is uh, Jet's adeptiness still adept? Yeah, like you didn't have any um, active powers running, right? Mm, just passive. Yeah, you didn't have like you didn't like attribute boost before you went in or anything like that. So you're fine. No. Okay, cool. So, ascending the shop, there is a a bunch of like minor magical mojo like looking around you will see that there is you can't like see out because there is a a ward there um kind of ends right around where the door starts and stuff um you don't see any uh like auras of things there's obviously no like magically active items that are just kind of laying about but like this is very clearly part lodge, part actual store. Okay. Um, so the lodge is like in the foyer type of thing? Yeah, it, there's a um, like a door to a back area that you can't see to, but you don't see the, the back end of this lodge, so you can oh. make an easy assumption that it goes all the way into the back somewhere. Okay. Maybe even on like a second floor. So anything good that they have here is kept uh, either in the back or at least outside of the lodge? Probably in the back. Um, mostly because this area is a crime-ridden area, so leaving expensive yeah. things laying around is, is not, a good, uh, not a good business proposition. Hey, what would... Never mind. You said that all the uh, bird cages are covered? Yeah. Okay. And they... Um, hmm? Jet. Hmm? I, I don't know if anything is going to happen that might make this a useful thing to think about, 
But if anything goes down involving that kid outside there, it might be useful to pull him through the doorway. He seems pretty zonked out, but... Then it might be easy and useful to pull him through the doorway. Okay. Is there a is bell there... that can, like... Yeah, I was about to ask the same thing. Yeah, there's a quaint little bell on the counter that you can ring. But um... I would like to ring the bell. The, the entrance that you made uh, will attract the attention of the proprietor and out from the back while you guys are kind of like, what was that? Just kind of you know, settling a moment going for the bell. Out will walk a uh, Forever 23 really dark skinned elven lady and she'll just kind of pause at the doorway and give you all of the uh, the long appraising look as she just kind of looks into you. Uh, she is awakened. She is in a bemused look. Uh, part of it could be irritation, part of it could be like, because you know, she doesn't know what you guys are here to do yet and you guys are showing up, you know, 15 minutes before she's going to lock the door. And part of it is uh, something just bumped into her lodge that she obviously knows because it is her lodge. Um, so that's got her, her intention. Um, and she will, she will notice you giving her the up and down. <laughs> okay. Guten Abend, Madam Proprietor. My name is Sue. We are here for a meeting with Madam Johnson. Ah, so that is what we and I can be doing for you. That answers many questions. And oh, places. great! Oh, you've got to stick with that accent the whole way through, buddy. <laughs> I had a feeling it was going to go this way. What with the zombie Halloweener. <laughs> <laughs> She'll uh, pause for a moment, be like, just a moment, and walk past you guys and do the old school, like, flip the sign around and lock the door. Come, there's much to discuss. And she'll walk up to around her counter and kind of, like, motion for you guys to come over. Yeah, not your lunch. You are here about the job, yes? Yeah. And you are not afraid to get your hands dirty between you and yours. Sorry, you cut out there? I'm not afraid to get what between me and my? Your hands dirty? It depends on how. There is a man that me and mine are needing. I know damn it. We know where he is and it should be simple to acquire him. However, and she'll motion around the shop, someone needs to mind the shop as it were. You understand. And then she'll just kind of pause for you guys to say anything, or she'll continue. Either of these tasks is the sort of thing for which we are well suited. I am glad to hear. Damn it! Which would you have us pursue? The. Let's see. I believe price is usually decided upon first and for a simple task I believe that we could part with say 25,000 new yen total Two, three, four. Uh, guys everybody want to tell me how you're feeling about that amount that's 62.50 each well, we're missing Rot tonight, who would also be taking part of the cut. Oh. 
Right. That's hex. No, it's not. <laughs> Hex is just going to be backwards on her money the whole way through. What she said was twenty five thousand total, right? That's yeah, not that's much. Piece. Yeah. The heck, that's like good money. That's like two months of rent. Total, total. like living expenses and everything. Think you could. Uh up it a little bit, maybe buy another thou. And, um, this is yeah. to sue. <laughs> it just depends entirely on the job. Like, I'm okay taking a 5k milk run, but if upon hearing the details, she needs to be open to further negotiation. Yeah. Anytime they say, oh, it'll be easy, we're going to die. Are you uh, are you comfortable with four? Mm. No. I mean, it's not like the eight we rolled the first time. Is that fifteen with your bonus charisma spell? Which you my should... bonus charisma just popped. I I don't have bonus. This is how we learn about wards. No, I know that. I just didn't know if he had 15 dice without it. There you go. See? What yeah. The good it's, it, it's worth me spending an edit on this, because this is like most of the important part of me. And you regain it the next day. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah. So you guys will go back and forth for a little while. Um... I, I'm noticing that you have uh, perhaps some some contacts, perhaps some relationships with um, the local security forces in the area. Surely if task were so easy as you s say it might be, you would not need persons of our caliber. She will. She will give a a flowery chuckle when you mention the the Halloweeners. <laughs> the one outside tried to steal from me and mine. Well, now he serves as a warning. Hmm. He seems quite relaxed. I'm, I'm sure he's having a perfectly wonderful time. Uh, she smiles a viper smile at you. <laughs> but yes, to the, the sum of the Nguyen. The man that I require, I will need within the next three days. The good three news days? is that he won't be resistant to your efforts. Is he willing or is he unconscious? Or dead? He is not unwilling. And she'll give you a smile again. Mm. But you are correct. Your friends are also correct and the, the amount can be improved. I have talked it over and we have decided that we can pay out 30,000 Nguyen for the prompt recovery of our man. And Does everybody like that? Six each? Can I uh, roll judge intentions uh, to try and figure out what the hell she meant? <laughs> okay. I love Hex's optimism of like, I'll live for three months. Mm -mm. I get shot in the face by an angry little gnome sometime next week. 
Yeah, th- this is only a month and a half for me, so... Uh, good news, Jet. She is scary. Uh, <laughs> just for the hell of it, I'm going to edge that. Sure. Uh, I have to mark off my edge. Yo, what are these Cowie sword caps made of that you can only buy four? I'm just exaggerating a little bit. Okay. So with with three hits, what did you want to know more information on? Um, like he is not not unwilling or whatever that what like. Okay, so you want to know I more about like brain? what um. What she meant by uh, his willingness to be extracted. Yes. All right, you can have that edge back because that's something that she's just going to tell you after you guys had agreed to to prices and things. Okay. Very All right, now that Madam we... Mambo, I believe we are agreed on the price. Very well. Now that you and yours and me and mine are in agreement, the late Doctor. Gladstone is, uh, has passed away very recently. I would like you to bring him to me. Which aspect of him will we be returning to you? Whole? His entirety of his physical being? Ah, the physical. Okay. Where is he located? Currently, he is in, and she'll give you a uh, a hospital. Um, he is located in their morgue. However, when you are fairly well to do and you have, shall we say, it's squabbling family, they they like to get things moving very quickly. In two days' time, he will be placed into the earth. And you need this done before he's in the earth, correct? Me and mine require the product within three days or so. While it's fresh. Pretty sure I can deliver on that. Now, does he need to be whole, or do you need all of him? She raises a, an eyebrow. Maybe easier to transport if it was, how do you say, smaller pieces? She will make a motion around the shop. She's not going to like that. The uh, There are certain aspects to the products which I produce that require certain amounts of completion. Perfectly fine. Would refrigeration be required? Perhaps recommended. (laughs) Okay. Is there any additional security we might need to be aware of? The... I'm trying to find her words here. Um, Additional security is why you and yours are being hired instead of me and mine. Bam, so what was the uh, guy's name? Uh, Dr. Gladstone. Does he have a first name? Uh, Reginald. Um. We would be interested to have any details that you can provide on the security. I'm also curious to know whether, um, in any other, 
uh, sort of way, <coughs> there is any particular kind of special attentions that might be uh, laid upon the Gladstone uh, okay. more than any other guest in the morgue might receive? I'm sorry, can you run that by me one more time? I keep, like, trying to find fancy, flowery words and it just keeps falling apart on me. I and I want to know is there any zetas on the security or any other attention that might be paid to the Gladstone? Alright, slow down, Miss Cleo, alright? <laughs> um... <laughs> God, sorry. Miss Cleo. <laughs> The uh, let me let me roll it back. Um, the additional security is why you and yours are hired. As I said, me and mine are capitalizing on an opportunity that has been presented. She mentioned something about the family. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if, like, the family's going to be hanging around, or, like, is he newsworthy in some way? Is uh, anything going to be... Yeah. There is some squabbling family over, like, wills and stuff and all that other kind of good crap, but um, she does not know whether or not they are going to be, like, directly involved, that kind of thing. Okay. Um... I'm feeling like we're probably at the limit of the information we could expect to get from her. Is that the case? And where exactly would you like Dr. Gladstone delivered? You can call when you have the product. Um, is there anything in particular additional to the corpus that you would like us to keep an eye out for? Me and mine require nothing else. Anybody else have anything they want to ask? Nothing that you'd probably answer. Oh, you say it like she's being deliberately obtuse. Well, it's also not professional to ask what she's going to do with the body. Uh, she kind of inferred. I think it's rude to ask what anybody's going to do with a corpse. <laughs> yeah, I think she's going to try and make a fetish out of it, more or less. Or, uh, uses genetic information for some sort of ritual involving his family. I don't know. I mean, that might be possible. As long as the check clears. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The equivalent. That's interesting. Um, uh, Bamps, is Rot going to come back not a shaman anymore? I believe he rebuilt rigor stuff. Mm. So, there's that. Would okay. it be super weird to ask her for a material link? Of what? If she's got, like, Gladstone's hair or something. I mean, you could, but that's not, like... For one, hair probably wouldn't do it, because that's not good for long. Um, but you could you could ask her. Uh, and why would she be asking us? I didn't hear anything it? other than the word not twice, so I'm going to take that to mean no. Uh, I shouldn't do that. that. Um, okay, um, the, the the knot was in reference. If everybody to, else like, is good, I'm good. Um, hair wouldn't be a very good ritual component for very long. Oh motherfucker! So. Um, okay, so we all good with that? I think so. You guys are gonna be yes. good. Kidnap a dead man. It's really more grave robbing. Preemptive grave robbing. I was gonna say, is it really grave robbing if he's not in the grave? 
Okay. Uh, let's take our second break, and then we'll go for another like hour or so, and then we'll we'll see what happens. Cool.